Hi guys, it's Jazzy Ray here and I'm back for another reading. Um, if you would like a birth chart reading, please watch the video that I posted previously because they are no longer free. Okay, if you want a birth chart reading, you're going to have to pay $20. Um, if you want, if you have questions about the your um, birth chart that you expect like specific questions and you want a reading, that's five dollars per question and if you just have a question about a certain planet and you want to know how that works with you that's five to five dollars okay but they're no longer free okay that's the whole point but please watch the video before I'll, I'll keep posting videos and stuff like that but whatever so anyway we're here because we're here for another birth chart reading um city aka c I went to school with her and I miss you girl I miss the hell out of you the hell how you just gonna leave school like that and not tell me I thought we was better than that okay <laughs> I'm just kidding but anyway she asked me to do a chart for her and I'm gonna show you your chart this is you I made some errors but th that's you right there so your sun is Scorpio, your moon is Leo, your Mercury is Sagittarius, your Venus is also Scorpio, and your Mars is Virgo, and your ascendant is Aquarius, which when I did this chart, I was not shocked. I was not shocked, okay? And then if you look over here, you got your masculine, your feminine, 5-5. Five, five. I will explain that later on. All right. And no, see, you don't have to pay. <laughs> because you asked me before I started charging. So you good. Um, let's get to it. So your sun sign is who you are. It's your personality. And you are a Scorpio. So Scorpio is a feminine sign. It's water. Um, it is a fixed sign, which just means fixed energy. Like the quality is fixed. So like other signs who have fixed qualities, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus and Aquarius so it's like it's kind of hard for you to adapt to things and adapt to change which is kind of odd because you do change a lot <laughs> you change your look a lot so it's kind of odd but I think when it comes to situations it's kind of hard for you to to kind of just be flexible sometimes um what else can I say it's polar opposite is Taurus and the planets Scorpio is the only um sign that has two planets so it's mars and pluto mars is the planet of aggression and sex pluto is the planet planet of darkness and death which is why scorpio has the reputation that it, scorpio has now scorpios what can i say scorpios have this very interesting um reputation of being promiscuous being alcoholics um being dark and sexaholics and all that and that's not the case with Scorpio not saying Scorpios cannot be that way anyone can be that way but that's like a stereotype um, Scorpios are very guarded they only trust a select few people and sometimes they have to like trust themselves because Scorpios they like I said they're guarded and their, their biggest fear is being betrayal, be, betrayed in, in some way. So Scorpio, it takes a long time for Scorpio to open up. But once they open up, Scorpios are like really cool people as long as you don't double cross them. Because Scorpios be, believe in revenge and they're petty <laughs> with their revenge. Like Scorpio will be the type, it's the type of sign that gets you fired. And, or spread lies about you and just do evil vindictive things because they been they were portrayed and they're hurt and hurt people hurt people not saying girl you do that but um you probably i can i can see you doing that though <laughs> honestly i can see you doing that but then after after you know scorpio gets the revenge they want it's like hey girl let's let's be friends again it's like no <laughs> we're not gonna be friends after that but scorpio they do believe in revenge um but Scorpio is really cool, you know, they're cool people as long as, you know, you watch your mouth. Because <laughs> Scorpio's got a razor sharp tongue, tongue, cut you out in a heartbeat, you know, and uh, yeah. 
as long as you don't you don't lie to Scorpio or anything because Scorpio gives off you know everything is emotional so if once they there's an emotional link they they don't you're like you can't turn back once you link with a Scorpio that's it there is no going back and the only way you can go back is if Scorpio is like you know what fuck you because you hurt my feelings and this and that and after they get their little petty little revenge out on you and then they don't turn back because and, and it just makes it worse for Scorpio so Scorpios already have issues with trust already so that's Scorpio so then you have your moon your moon is Leo moon is your moon your moon sign is how we express our emotions so leo is a masculine sign it's also has a fixed quality it's it's planet is the sun it's a fire sign it's opposite polar opposite is aquarius by the way they say you're supposed to marry your polar opposite girl and since you're a scorpio i guess your polar i guess your future husband he's supposed to be a taurus I don't know how true that is because I, I most Scorpios and Tauruses do not get along. <laughs> they don't get along for the most part, so I don't know how true that is. But that's that's, that's supposed to be your future husband, girl. So uh, anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, that's that's Leo's pol polar opposite. It's Aquarius. Um, yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, it's planet is the sun sun does what gives us life and gives us light so leo feels like leo is the life of the party and leo is the light that lights up the room now when it comes to emotions leos are passionate they are passionate people and you know they they the, the symbol for for leo is lion i am a lion hear me roar so like when leo or if you have that in your chart, when Leo expresses their emotions, so, you know, they serious and they're passionate and they don't want to be interrupted. You're, you're going to get every word out. You don't care how people feel about it. And that's that. So I, I can already tell that you're some type of, you're, you're the type of person, like when you're in your feelings, don't, you're probably like, don't talk over me. Don't interrupt me while I'm talking because I'm serious. I'm, I'm feeling some type of way right now. And plus Leo always has to be in the spotlight so you feel like when you are expressing your emotions you are this is your time to shine and if you can't do if, if somebody takes that away from you then you feel like god damn like what am i supposed to do now you know so definitely i've seen you argue with your sister you definitely need to get all your words out i would love to do her chart i feel like she might have fire in her chart too that her her moon might be a fire sign as well so because y'all be I seen y'all argue and I'm like god damn <laughs> damn you know I seen y'all have y'all little sisterly arguments and stuff like that so you, you probably the one that's always like you better not interrupt me while I'm talking I'm sick of you doing that you're not about to cut me off while I'm talking that's that's you for sure um so your mercury is Sagittarius which kind of conflicts with your moon <laughs> it conflicts with your moon and I'm gonna tell you why so Sagittarius is also masculine. It's a fire sign. It's polar opposites, Gemini. Uh, it's a mutable sign. So when when you have the mutable quality, it just means that you're able to adapt. You know. So in a conversation, you're you're able to talk about anything and everything, and you're able to accept other people's opinions without changing yours, unless you want to change yours. Um, and its planet is Jupiter. Jupiter is the planet of good luck and optimism. So, this is why I say it kind of conflicts because Sagittarius is don't like to argue. Leo's, I'm not gonna say they don't like to argue, but they're very passionate with their emotions. Sagittarius's are not, I mean, they're passionate, but they're not, they run away from time to time. So it's like, it's like sometimes the passion ain't there. You know, it's immutable, it has immutable quality. So sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not. So when you're talking to people, you're a, you have your own opinions, and you do. I've talked to you. You have strong opinions, and you stick to your opinions. You don't allow me or anyone to change your opinions unless you want to change them. Um, you probably like to debate a lot, which I we've had debates. <laughs> we had debates, but when it's getting too deep, 
you probably be like, you know what, let's just agree to disagree. This is how I feel, this is how you feel. Let's just move on because Sagittarius just don't like to argue. They don't Sagittarius just don't take anything serious. So unless they want to. So in debates, like you and your sister probably debate a lot and you probably like, you know what, girl? You know what, Halima, I can't do this with you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go this way. You can, you can argue with yourself, but I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> Girl, so like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, let me know if she wants me to do her chart, because I will do her chart, and I'll even do it for free. I'll do hers for free, because I'm not about to, you know, I'm not about to be that unfair. You know what I mean? I'll do hers for free, but um, yeah. <laughs> I would love to see what her chart is, man. Okay, so let's go back to your venus which is scorpio venus is the planet of love so venus is what attracts us and how we love and how we want to be loved so it's scorpio so when it comes to love scorpio it's emotional it can get deep it can get deep um scorpios again you have to earn like a person has to earn your trust a person has to earn your trust and you have to trust yourself with that person uh scorpio it, it takes a long time. Well, not a long time. It depends on the energy, really. Because Scorpio, you know, it takes, a, it takes a little bit for a Scorpio to open up. And, like I said, that emotional attachment is so deep. Like, that's the thing we're messing with Scorpios. Because it's like, you can have, like, a Scorpio can have a link to you. You don't even know it. You know, a Scorpio has linked you. And when a Scorpio links you, it can get deep. Shit can get real, Okay. Um, you are theirs. You don't belong to anybody else. Scorpio can be jealous. Scorpio can be very extremely between Leo and Scorpio. I say Scorpio is the most possessive and the most jealous because y'all are like y'all that link, man. That that link is so strong. It's just like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So when you are when you in love, girl, you mean it. Like you, you you ain't playing. Like once that link is there, there is no turning back. And if they break your heart, you breaking their shit. <laughs> You're throwing their shit. You're breaking their shit. You're probably gonna go to the house and break all the windows. No, I'm kidding. But that is something Scorpio will do. But I'm not saying you do it. So you a Scorpio. You a Scorpio. Okay. So your Mars represents um, sex aggression in your work your work um ethic just your action you know what you gonna do you know venus is what we want and mars is how we get it so it's virgo so virgo is feminine it's an earth sign it has a mutable quality which means you all over the place um it's polar opposites pisces and uh let's see what else i write down oh no i said everything i need to say okay so work ethic virgo has a pretty good work ethic for the most part they're perfectionists so it's like they perfect everything they do um they'll work hard you know i, I want to say they do it for money necessarily it's just they if they feel like they got they gotta prove something to themselves so they they work hard at it you know especially if it comes to like an art or something like a, like a talent they're definitely like they perfection so even like when you do your makeup because your makeup is always like slayed to the gods so i can tell you take your time and you take all day to do your makeup whereas a lot some of us we just take 20 minutes and then we just go out looking like whatever okay <laughs> okay um so your anger it doesn't really take much for you to get angry because virgos are like chill for the most part but don't get them angry don't get them angry but it takes a lot yeah it takes a lot for a virgo to get angry but unless you attack their craft or you attack their families or you attack them personally that's when virgo will come out and probably beat your ass but um no virgos are pretty chill for the most part so you're probably pretty chill but you're probably not one to make angry and sex honey so I'm not gonna talk about what you went to because I read this book. Um, when you have, when you are a Virgo, or if you have, like, if you're Venus or your Mars is Virgo, you went to some kinky shit, some real kinky, like some real, like, not even kinky. It's like degrading type shit. <laughs> but I'm not gonna go that deep. 
but I will say this you are a people pleaser when it comes to sex you would do whatever your partner tells you to do because you love your partner and you want to please your partner and you want to perfect it so if you're so you're probably the type of person when you have relations or some type of relations you're probably ask a lot of questions but questions like do you like that do you like how i do it like this do you like how i do it like that now you're not doing that because you want to like 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 you trying to like prove a point like you doing that because you want to see what your partner likes so you know to do it again okay and whatever your partner wants if your partner wants to tie you up you're gonna be down with that because you want to make your partner happy that's just, that's just the bottom line. It is what it is. It is what it is, okay? It is what it is. And Virgos have a great stamina. They have a lot of stamina. A lot of earth signs have a lot of stamina. So you can probably go for a long time. So you need a partner that's going to go for a long time. I forgot to mention this um, in your video. But your ascendant sign is how you express yourself. So how you express your personality. And since it's Aquar Aquarius... You are very expressive with your hair, your makeup, because air signs are, are expressive. It's all about expression, freedom of expression. And if somebody takes that away from you, you have nothing. Like, you just feel like you have nothing left. So I just wanted to just point that out there. So I wasn't shocked when this came up because you're very expressive with your hair and your makeup and even your clothes. Like you just be you just be slaying it, sis. Like you be slaying it. Like I was not shocked. I was not shocked at all. That's all I wanted to say. Now let's get on with this masculine and this feminine energy. Now when I did my calculations, I said either you're going to have like more feminine than masculine or you're going to be balanced. Your masculine and your feminine energy. So your masculine represents physical energy and your feminine energy represents mental and emotional. It's 5-5, five, five, meaning you're balanced as hell. You are the fourth person. I also have balanced energy too. But um, you're the first, fourth person who I've done birth charts readings for and it came out 5-5. Five, five. We came out balanced, which means you kind of... Hold on. I'm just checking because sometimes my camera will go off. Which means that you know you're okay with being physical if you have to be. You're okay with sitting on your ass if you have to sit on your ass. You're okay with walking away with certain situations and not being so aggressive and hostile. And sometimes you know where, where you have to be aggressive or you have to be assertive. You know when to do things and you know when not to do things. And if things is a little out of whack and, you are, and your emotions are, are a little out of balance, you know exactly how to get them back in balance. Some people can't, like, like some people, like most people I've done readings for, their, their energies are off. They don't know how to do it. They have to, get, they have to get the readings so they know what they need to work on. You kind of already know already. Like, if you don't, well, you, you know, okay? You know. So it's just like, there's no yo-yoing. Like, 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 if your emotions is out of whack, you know what you got to do to get back on track. Bars, you know, you know. So, like, yeah. Your birth chart was really simple to do, actually. Very, very easy. Um, that's it. So, if you have any more questions, $5, see. Five dollars per question, okay? Um, if your sister want a reading, I will do hers for free because it's not fair that you get it for free and she got to pay. So if she wants, if any of your siblings, if your little sister wants a reading, just tell them to hit me up. I'll give them readings for free because it's not fair that you got because you got yours for free. So I'm not going to do y'all like that. But if y'all got any other questions, you know, I'm going to need that five dollars. But, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it, you know. Anyway, that's pretty much it. My camera went off. And um, I'll see you guys next. See you guys. Bye.